I'm sending a flying cyborg to my friend's house and I encourage you to do the same. Today we're gonna put the whole world in here and you can go to your street, your friend's street, anyone's street really and you turn this to your own anime playground. And this is all powered by Google Maps which one would think is boring but using AI it looks cool. In the marketplace look for Cesium for Unreal, install that to your engine, then create a new or open an Unreal Engine 5 project, go edit, plugins, look for Cesium and enable it. Then restart your project, create an empty level, then click the add button on the tile set and the sun sky. Open the outliner and make sure the tile set is selected and then change the source to from URL. And then copy the link that is in this video's description and paste it here. And the last step to make this work is that you need to have an API key that belongs to you. So I'm highlighting a part here in the URL that says Maps API Key. And here you need your own key, it's very easy to do, just tag along buddy. Go to the Google Maps platform and click Get Started. Search for Map Tiles API and then you find the Map Tiles API and enable it. And after you fill out this form, you get your API key. However, Google will ask for your credit card, but they will not charge you when the trial ends. So let me overstate that, that this doesn't cost you anything. Once you're done, you'll get your API key. So just copy that, go back to your Unreal project and paste it in here after this equal mark and press enter and boom, you got the whole world in front of you, baby. Now to find your house or your friend's house or anyone's house, just go to the real Google map, right click and copy the longitude and latitude and then paste that into Unreal Engine and you will go straight there. Congrats, now you can go anywhere in the world. You also have this level of detail panel down here that the lower the value you put in, the higher quality maps will load at you, but it will cost you performance and will become a bit laggy, so we just experiment. And if you've watched any of my previous tutorials, you know that I like to throw in a character, some animation, make it look a bit like an anime or cartoonish. If you wanna know how to do that, check out my previous video. Throw me a like and subscribe and help a small YouTuber like me grow. Thank you.